Hello again. How well do you know Sanjan? Perhaps you've practiced it hundreds or thousands of times. But if I asked you to do it right now, could you do it on the opposite side? Throughout Sanjan, if you're not in horse stance, your right leg is forward. And even though most of the hand movements are performed in pairs, using the hand off the lead leg is not the same as using it off the rear leg. Many years ago, a junior student of mine asked why we never practiced Sanjan on the opposite side. What's stopping you? I asked him. And he said that we never did it in class, which was true. We never did it in class because at the time, I didn't feel my students were good enough on the right side to risk confusing them on the left side. And if you're still a beginner, you might not be ready to practice forms on both sides. But if you've been training a few years, what's stopping you? It can be confusing. When I practice my forms, I usually do 60% on the usual side and 40% on the opposite. And I often find myself switching halfway through without realizing it or forgetting which side I started on. Which may or may not be a bad thing. After all, if your execution is good, does it really matter that you switch sides? Anyway, if you cannot do your form on the opposite side, do you really know it all that well? Of course, I'm even worse on the opposite side, but that's okay. Because if a mistake becomes really obvious on the opposite side, it prompts me to check on the normal side too, where the mistake might also be present, but less obvious. Well, here we go. Sanjan on the opposite side, mistakes and all. Try it yourself and let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.